Today we're going to be doing a quick comparison of some of the tough belt work belts that are out there and their suspenders. These are used to connect their tool pouches to your work belt. Whether you're up on a roof or whatever you might be doing, there's extra weight that comes with these when you put additional gear and screws, you know, etc. in these. So that's why there is a need to have these depending on what you're trying to do. My goal today is to give you a side-by-side -side comparison to see which one of these uh, fits your specific needs on what you would need out of the belt. So the model numbers we're going to be comparing today are TBCT41P, TB43A, TB42D, and TBCT51P. The one quick note I'll make here is the model numbers appear to be different based on the retailer. So these ones here I'm comparing, the model numbers are the ones that are readily available on Amazon. I'll post some links below in the description there to these specific ones. I believe a lot of these are the same at the other retailers, they're just different model numbers. All right, we'll start with the largest one over here first. You know, I'm just gonna do a quick demo of putting each one of these on here, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how these fit. Uh, on this one here, this one, uh, you know, is a little bit bigger as far as, you know, thickness here wise, obviously, as you guys can see, I'm roughly a 30 inch waist, uh, just to try to kind of give you guys an, a, a comparison there. This one does come with one of these extensions here and it just zips off there if you don't need. And what I found with these is they say on this one, it'll fit from 32 to 48 inch waist. However, if you just keep taking this Velcro off and pushing this thing around, I believe you could fit any waist you want on here. And that was one of the concerns I had on this. You know, technically if I'm 30 inch waist, they say 32, this shouldn't fit. But as you can see, I feel you could make this as tight as you wanted to do. All you gotta do is, is, is pop these things off here, take this part out and just keep pulling it back and just keep tightening it where you need to be there. So once you tighten it up there, they do come with these little uh, connections here and I'll give you a close-up picture of this here in a second but you're able to just simply cut back some of this extra belt and then this thing will allow you to clip it in there so that's kind of a ni nice feature they have then what this allows you to do and if you're not familiar with how these work you know you're just gonna take these clip hubs and this is gonna go on here like so like that then you're able to take your pouches and snap them on there like that. So this is the first one here. And like I said, I'm a, I'm a waist 30 here. So just kind of give you a comparison. I don't usually tighten these up all the way. I'm not, I'm not uh, really in, in, a big fan of when the belts are really tight. And obviously if you are, you know, fair enough, you know, I, I, we all have different preferences how we like to have our belts on there. So if you want to tighten up, obviously you can have it tight. I like to leave mine a little bit loose like that. So I don't really feel it. When it's here, it's just kind of resting on my, on my hips now obviously if you get a bunch of these on here and there's a bunch of weight you know you risk it maybe coming off but this is preferably how i usually do it just have it kind of loose on there so it's supported and i'm easily able to uh you know to get to what i need there so that's that's the first belt there that we're going to compare moving on to the second one here this is what they call the padded work belt the first one we looked at was the pro padded heavy duty work belt so the, one of the biggest differences that you're first going to see is the width of this. This is about an inch shorter than what this one is over here. So that's the first big difference. Uh, other than that, you know, it's very similar on how they connect. They go around there with a the Velcro. Uh, and then how they connect on the front here is just a traditional belt with some loops. Now, the one thing I did notice here is they did mention on, on this one, the 32 inch minimum waist as well. And if you look here, if I connect in that last one, that's probably pretty accurate that that 32 inch waist is what the minimum they're recommending on this because it's a couple inches short there. I've tried adjusting it to the full max over here and it will not go any shorter. Uh, so that is one big difference I see in this one as well. They both say minimum 32 inch, but that one over there, clearly I think I can get that one as tight as I can because it can just automatically adjust it. You cut the belt off versus this one, you're dependent on those, on those loops there. So. Uh, that is one uh, big difference between these these first two here in regard to how they connect. All right, then the, then the last belt here that, that we're going to compare before we get into the suspenders is just a standard, uh, you know, belt loop here. You know, this is obviously just the insert of these other ones over here without the padding. Uh, and this one is a little, they rate this one at, you know, a 29 to 46 inch waist. 
which I believe, you know, that's probably pretty accurate. But again, on this one, I believe you can, you could have this, you know, wherever, uh, you know, you wanted with, with wise, because, you know, it's just a standard belt loop here. Just pull it through there and cut it off. Uh, the one comment I will make on this, when you get into your tool pouches, and that's where I think this padded part really comes into play, these things are hard plastic. So if you put this thing in here, depending on how that's in that's seated in there, whether it's on your hip or on the front here, that could be digging into you all day. So that is the one comment I would make. From a lightweight standpoint, this one's hard to beat versus the other ones, but from a, from a comfort standpoint, I'm not sure if this one would really be the best fit. However, if you're, if you're looking for a compact solution to put this on there, you know, you can do this. And obviously you could always, you know, just put it on your, your regular belt as well. That's essentially what, what this is here. Gotta make sure, uh, you know, it's clear here. You know, there's a lot of confusion out there. If you look at some of these belts, there's negative reviews. Hey, where are the, the suspender loops shown in the picture? Those, those reviews are, are not true. They're not intended to come with the suspender loops with the belts, the suspender loops come with the suspenders. Now, if you've got different suspenders that are not tough built that you're trying to, you know, put with them, yes, maybe that would, you know, be a concern. But from a tough belt standpoint, they clearly mention that these loops are, are going to come with your suspenders, not the belt. All right, so then the last thing we're gonna be comparing are the suspenders. And you put these on, and I'll show you how these clips and things go on here. But they're just like any other suspenders, you know, put them over top like that, buckle them up there. And there's this, this clip here uh, that gets snapped in there. So, and obviously I'll have this cut off here, you know, eventually get that wrapped in there, look, make it look a little nicer. But those are how those fit. Uh, you know, on the, on the belt there. To get these connected, what you're gonna do, is as I mentioned there before, these little clips come with your suspenders, not your belt. You're simply gonna thread that thing through your belt there, thread it back through here, snap it in there, and now, and now your clip is, is ready to go. Then that simply connects there. So uh, that's kind of the full, you know, set up there. I did see some negative reviews out there as far as this back part digging into their neck. To, to fix that, all you gotta do is simply adjust these straps to get this pushed down farther. Now obviously personal preference, you know, some people might want it up farther or, or down farther, but you know, that's easily fixable by adjusting the straps one way or the other to get it fitting where, uh, where you think it, it should fit there. So uh, then, then finally, you know, obviously you have your clips there, then you're ready to go as far as whatever you know, pouch that, that you want to put on there and uh, you're ready, ready to go there for the day. Now, the one thing I will say, what I've, what I've been using, you know, if you're up on a roof or something, whether you have a nailer or you have a drill or something, some of these pouches come with these little convenient little clips here that I've actually been using for some time now where I'll actually put my drill in there like that. As you can see there, you know, it, it holds it pretty well. Now, obviously you're not going to be, you know, walking around a bunch, but you know, a lot of times for, for the projects I do, I might be in a stationary area uh, where, where I might be just in a, you know, a couple feet you know, radius that you can just clip it there for the time being, do what you gotta do here, come back, get your drill off, use it, you know, put it back uh, there as well. Now, they do make the drill holster pouches and all that, but I'm not really a big fan of them because you know, as you guys are probably all aware, a lot of times these batteries are some of the heaviest part on a lot of these newer drills. So when you're putting that drill holster in there, it almost feels like the tool could just fall out of there, at least the, the drills I have. So I've actually, you know, used these, uh, you know, like this uh, on various different projects there. So that is kind of a, you know, a quick demo of, of the actual suspenders. So what are my final thoughts on the belts here? Uh, I'll be honest, I think this uh, first one here was probably the best one that, that fit me. You know, obviously everyone is going to be in a different, uh, you know, situation there as far as how that belt fits and how they want it adjusted. I thought I would have liked this one a little bit better because it, it was a little bit slimmer and it didn't feel as bulky as this one. However, for my waist, uh, you know, this one really without cutting holes in the belt to make it fit, it's just not going to work. So, uh, so between the two, if I'm going with one of the padded ones, I would have to say this, you know, not to mention... Uh, you know, they do have the additional extension as well. So if you're up into the larger waist uh, there, you're able to put extensions in there to make it even larger. And, you're, and you have the extra comfort of, you know, this pad that you can put in there as well. So uh, I think between the two padded ones, obviously, I think I would go with this one. 
Not to mention, you know, depending on, on the day that you're buying them, you know, how the price is always fluctuating a lot of these. These are essentially the same price, but I think this one's a lot better quality. So uh, I personally, out of all of the belts, I think I like this one. Uh, this one over here, it's the, the, there's obviously a time and place for it, but you know, if you're gonna use this one for the, again, I think this is roughly around the same price as these. It might just be easier just to use your regular standard leather belt that you already have because uh, this is gonna allow those uh, clip uh, hubs to dig into your hip just like your regular belt would. So uh, I don't really know that, that this one really would, would serve the need there. However, depending on what you're doing, you know, may or may not, uh, you need that as well. Uh, then the last comment you know, I'll make on the suspenders, these things, you know, obviously you don't always need the suspenders, but if you get a couple of these pouches and you guys that are using some of these pouches and other different, you know, work belt pouches that are out there, you start getting a lot of weight in there. You get screws, you get drills, you get hammers. There's all kinds of stuff you put in there. With this suspenders, it really helps your shoulders and your back. It helps kind of support a lot of that weight evenly so it's not dragging on one side of your body there. So I think these suspenders are, are a good investment, uh, you know, as well. I hope this information was helpful uh, for you there. You know, if it was, you know, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, you know, please uh, hit that subscribe. But again, I hope this helped you out today and thanks for watching.